So a lot can change in a week. It's been one week, maybe a little more, since I uploaded a video. Because I started my new job. It's a dishwashing job. Uh, for a pizza, pasta, buffet style restaurant. Yeah, living the dream. Yeah, I actually got the job because I saw a post on Facebook uh, from one of the people I went to high school with. And he's now a, a general manager of, of the restaurant I work at. And he posted on Facebook about how they were opening a new store and they were having open interviews. So I just went down and uh, actually met my old high school acquaintance, I guess I would call him, because that, that was the first time I had seen him since high school. He, and he actually recognized me right away. So he, he remembered me. And also hired me. So I got a job through a personal connection when I have a mental condition that makes it harder for me to form personal connections. Now that is irony. And, you know, the job, the dishwashing job, it's whatever. Everyone says I'm doing a good job, which is good, uh, but it's not something I want to do for a long time. <laughs> not at all. I know I am going to be working this job for um, more than f three months because I've never had a job, a paying job, last. Uh, longer than three months. You know, as I said in a video before, I have a bachelor's degree in film and video, graduated from film school, and right now I'm looking for work, any work at all in the, in the uh, film and video field. And for getting media jobs it's very who you know a lot of people get a lot of jobs in the media field just through personal connections and friendships and other relationships which might explain why I'm not employed in the media field but I'm still Still gonna try, as I do love movies and TV shows. Yeah. Again, it's ironic that I w want to be a part of a business that uh, relies heavily on who you know to get a job. Now that is irony! I've had jobs in the entertainment business, but they were, you know, short-term unpaid jobs, mainly for student films. They just needed help for a weekend or, or a few days, but it was great experience. I, I just hope I can do, do more of it. And I just saw a post on Facebook from one of the uh, students I met in Los Angeles uh, who, who was going through the semester in LA program with me. And she just got a job as a production coordinator for a new cable television coming out. Uh, and a production coordinator is a person responsible for overseeing practical matters 
like uh, uh, dealing with uh, equipment, getting the right equipment, uh, getting location location spots and uh, uh, ho hotels for cast and crew stuff like that and just reading that post just makes me feel like I should be doing stuff like that I'm happy that she's doing it yeah but I I want to do it something like that just do something like that and not being a dishwasher but you know, you know you just gotta take what you can get and try to get something better but as for the other jobs I've worked in Idaho I've worked quite a few almost all of them have lasted less than three months because I would mainly work in the summertime when I was here uh, on summer vacation from college, uh, June, July, and August, and then go back to college. That That's mainly why they were so short, because they were summer jobs or temp jobs. The jobs I've worked in the past have been really different from each other. Uh, my first job I worked as an auditorium technician for my high school, uh, just operating lights and sound for performances after school in, in the high school auditorium. Uh, then I worked for two summers as an animal licensing surveyor uh, for the, the city where I would uh, just go door to door in different neighborhoods and ask people if their dogs were properly licensed. And talking to people wasn't actually uh, too bad for me because it was a script that I just kept repeating over and over, so it was it was easier than I thought it would be. I worked in a coffee shop, uh, a, a local coffee shop, as a dishwasher slash busboy slash kitchen help. At the coffee shop, they didn't have a dishwasher. They just had a sanitizer, so I would have to clean every dish, every utensil before putting it into the sanitizer to kill the germs. Uh, at the pizza buffet, uh, I, I do get a dishwasher. So I just have to clear all the the dishes of food and then put them into the dishwasher and let the machine do the rest. So it's a lot easier. Uh, and my most recent job was working in a movie theater. Uh, I was an usher. So I would uh, stand at the door and rip people's tickets and then clean the theaters after movies. I think it was my favorite job I've had so far because I got free movies. Yeah, I could just go in on my day off and enjoy a movie for free. <laughs> and I also got discounts on on uh, popcorn and drinks and other stuff, which which was really great. I got got to see quite a few movies for free while I worked there. The downside is that I worked on Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, and New Year's Eve, which were the busiest days of the year for for the theater, especially Christmas. Christmas was crazy. There were so 
many people and cleaning cleaning the theaters were a nightmare <laughs> on Christmas. That job was a seasonal job, which was unfortunate because I actually wanted to work more. But it, it was a, a small theater. It didn't require a lot of employees. Otherwise, I would have loved to stay there. And now I'm working as a dishwasher at a pizza buffet. Which I get, I, which I do get free pizza and pasta and salad. Not as good as free movies, but I'll take it for now. And hopefully I'll get a better job. One that is in my career. I'll, I'll do this for now and hopefully I'll get a job that's actually in my career field what's that saying if you love your work you'll never work a day in your life I, i'm not sure if that's true but i do want to do something that i love